Hey guys, welcome to another video of Fusion Studios. In this video, we are going to unbox iPhone 13 Pro. The new iPhone 13 Pro comes in four different colors: graphite, gold, silver, and Sierra blue. The one I have here is graphite. The new iPhone 13 Pro have 6.1 inch screen with 120 Hz refresh rate, and it has a resolution of 1170 into 2523. It also have 460 ppi pixel density. The iPhone 13 Pro comes with a hexa-core Apple A15 Bionic processor. It have 3095 mAh battery. Compared to the older one, this one have more battery life and will last up to one day. And with excessive usage, it will last up to 10 hours. Now let's unbox and see what's inside. So this is the new iPhone 13 Pro that comes at a price of 1,19,000 in India. This one have 256 GB internal memory and have Bluetooth 5.0, 3D face recognition and comes in IP68 rating dust and water protection. It is a dual SIM variant and supports 5G. It also supports wireless charging and proprietary fast charging. Compared to iPhone 12 Pro, the size and bump of the camera modules have increased. If you want to see the camera comparison of iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 13 Pro and the Samsung S21 Ultra, a sub to our channel would be great. Compared to the older generations, they have decreased the notch size. The volume rockers are in the same position like in the last year. And here we have the SIM tray. There is nothing on the top and to the right we have the power button. On the bottom we have the C port and the speakers. Moving on to the cameras, we have triple 12 megapixel rear camera. These cameras have f1.5, f1.8 and f2.8 apertures respectively. Moving on, we also have a 12 megapixel front camera with f2.2 aperture. They have moved the earpiece here at the top to decrease the note size. The iPhone 13 Pro have 146.7 x 71.5 x 7.65 mm in height, width and thickness. This is how your notification panel will look when you get any notification in the new iPhone 13 Pro. Now upon digging further into the box, we have the charging cable here. And inside the other box, we have the user manual, the SIM ejector tool and this time we only get one Apple sticker. As the new iPhone does not come with an adapter, I have bought a USB-C 20W power adapter that cost me around 2000 rupees. I have also bought a MagSafe charger for around 4500 rupees. This is the magnetic wireless charger. So let's see how well it sticks on the iPhone 13 Pro. So as you can see, it sticks very firmly at the center of the phone. Now moving on to the lock screen, on the left bottom corner, tap and hold up to 3 seconds and release the flashlight icon to turn on the flashlight. And do the same again to turn off the flashlight. Now the same thing applies to turn on the camera from the home screen. Now moving on to the home screen, on the top left we have the time and to the top right we have the network and the battery icon. If you want to see the battery percentage, just swipe down. Now let's open the settings. Now let's go to general settings. Here inside about, we can see the name as iPhone 13 Pro. The software version is iOS 15. And also we can see the one year warranty period expiry date. I have bought a case for the iPhone 13 Pro. So let's see how well it looks after putting on the case. It looks quite good and even gives a little protection to the camera. Now let's swipe across the screens and open and close the apps to see how well the 120Hz screen refresh rate works. So as you can see the transitions are very smooth. Now let's move on to the camera. The camera quality have been improved and they have also added additional features for the first time. Now currently it's on video mode. The maximum quality it have is 4K from 24fps, 30fps and 60fps. We can also change the resolution to HD from 30 to 60fps. Next we have the cinematic mode and after that we have the slow mo. The slow mo is locked to HD quality and we can change the frames from 240 and 120. Now to the most left we have the time lapse option. Next we have the portrait mode then the panorama. iPhone is the only smartphone that can shoot vertical panorama. Now let's go to portrait mode. On the top left we can change the flashlight and we can adjust the night mode. We also have different types of portrait modes like natural light contour light, studio light, stage light, stage light mono and high key mono. Now on the top right corner we have the icon for changing the aperture or depth. Next when we click on the top center icon 
we get different options. First we have the flashlight where we can turn on or off or even change to auto. Next we have the night mode option to adjust the levels. In pitch dark I think the maximum it will be 3 seconds. Next we have the live option where we can change from auto on or off. And for the first time Apple have given us the option to change the profile from standard rich contrast where the contrast level increases. Next we have vibrant, warm and cool. We also get a slider below to change the tone or even from warm to cool. We can also change the tone by changing from high contrast to vibrant. Next we have the option to change the ratios from 4 is to 3 square that is 1 is to 1 then to 4 is to 3 then to 16 is to 9. 16 is to 9 is the full screen mode but unlike android there is black translucent layers on top and bottom. Next we have the option to change the exposure levels. Next we can set the timer from 3 seconds to 10 seconds. And finally we can change the filter to vivid, vivid warm, vivid cool, dramatic, dramatic warm, dramatic cool, mono, silver tone and noir. Now it's time to test the cinematic mode. Now let's turn on recording. Inside cinematic mode when we click on an object it will track the object wherever we move the camera. Also we can change the focus by tapping on another object and it will track that object. Now let's stop recording and view that video from the gallery. Now this is a photo I have taken before and if you zoom in, unlike all other iPhones, we can zoom in much more further and the camera quality has quite been improved. Now let's check the cinematic mode video. Now we can click the edit option to edit this video. So here on the right top we have the video option where we can change the focus manually after the video has been recorded. Now let's select the next option. Here the first one is used to change from warm or cool and the second one is used to change the exposure levels. Next we have the filter icon to apply filter into this video. And finally we have the crop option to crop the video. Now let's click done after cropping. Now when we click edit again and select the crop option and then zoom out we can revert back to the original shape. We can even flip the video or even rotate the video from the icons on the left top corners. And when you select the icon beside done we can change the ratios from original, freeform, square, 16 is to 9, 5 is to 4, 7 is to 5, 4 is to 3, 5 is to 3 and 3 is to 2. Now it's time to check the macro camera. Now when you move the object closer to the camera, the camera will automatically switch to the ultra wide so you can take macro shots very closely. Now coming to the zoom levels, we have 0.5x ultra wide, then 1x, then 3x, then we can zoom up to 15x. Now inside video, we can change to 0.5x, 1x, 3x and up to 9x. The camera switch between 0.5x, 1x and 3x is very noticeable in video mode. But in photo mode, while zooming, the transitions are much smoother. Now let's see the photos we have taken. This is taken from 15x zoom. Now this one was taken from 1x zoom level in the primary camera. This one was taken in ultra wide mode and the low saturation levels is very noticeable. Now this is a macro shot that has been taken before and it have a very good quality. Now that's all about iPhone 13 Pro. A comparison video between S21 Ultra and iPhone 13 Pro and also iPhone 13 Pro with iPhone 12 Pro Max is coming soon. So thank you for watching the video guys. If you like the video hit the like button and if you have any doubts comment in the comment section below. And also share this video with your friends. So thank you for watching the video guys. Click on the subscribe and the bell button to get our latest updates.